Welcome back. Everyone at, at work, sometime, somewhere, wherever you have worked, mm -hmm. morale has dipped. This happens. It happens yep. for a variety of reasons, and it happens all across the board at different workplaces everywhere. That seems to be the case right now for Pittsburgh Public School staff, and that's what I wanted to talk to you all about today because we all, I know, know what bad morale, poor morale can do for a workplace. Yeah. And WESA reported on this last week. We're going to share the article if you're interested on this at our, our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. You can read the whole thing. There's also a six-minute listen. But the survey was done by a third party, and they looked into co-worker relationships. They looked into how things are going, outlook for growth in, within P Pittsburgh Public Schools. Uh, less than half of the staff took the survey, so I want to make okay. that clear. Okay. So this wasn't mm -hmm. like everybody. Sure. Yeah. They didn't have like a 95% reporting mm -hmm. rate for the survey. But they were really looking into how people were doing sure. within <laughs> Pittsburgh Public. Um, the consultant's summary pointed out a lack of trust, staff feeling unheard and unsupported, um, they also were, were talking about how they didn't know that there was a place for them to go, like to grow to within the company. Mm -hmm. And there were also questions asked about how long they would be within Pittsburgh public schools. So there were a lot of questions. Um, but I, I know just hearing from other teachers, this isn't just something that I think is isolated. Absolutely no. not. We're hearing from so many people, and I, I'm assuming because of the pandemic, a lot of this has changed a lot, a lot of a shift, especially with teachers, mm -hmm. um, feeling unsupported, unheard, underpaid as yes. well. Which has always been in insane to <laughs> and, me. Mm -hmm. you know, it really has. So I know that we can't fix any of the problems that are existing with other right. companies, um, but for me, it was like, I kind of feel sometimes like you have to be the, the weight or the person who tries to lift things up, but you can't fix all of the problems. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no. not. I, and, and I will say in regards to the Pittsburgh Public Schools, like I'm still in touch with some of my former teachers right, and right. they're in touch with the teachers who are teaching now. And Because you went to Pittsburgh Public, right? I did, yeah. yeah. I went to Taylor Alderdice, um, and they, she tells me like morale is low. I was just having this conversation. Morale is low and a lot of it has to do with, well, first I'll say that I think the majority of teachers, they want to be there. They like want they so want bad. That's yeah. their life's mission to help these kids and to teach these kids. It's their passion. But it's it's tough for them to do. Um, and in this one example was just the, the behavior problems. Right. It's really challenging and there's no resources and there are no protocols, at least not enough, to address what the teachers have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and especially when it comes to like mental health programs, right. a lot of those teachers, um, they're dealing with so much with the kids on a day-to-day -day basis, like they need an outlet. Um, yeah, absolutely. And so, teachers yeah. aren't therapists either. And the fact that they are underpaid, and I'm pretty sure famously underpaid, yeah. th th this is anywhere in our country. These people are molding the most important generation. These are the yeah. people who are going to come for our jobs, and I will gladly hand it over <laughs> to someone who is, you know, has, has been educated as such, who has worked for it. And I think that to underpay someone as important as, as teachers, that's so disappointing. However, I do think that low morale, the fact that it is a, an epidemic, across workplaces, is. not yeah. just in, yeah. you know, teaching. I think that this is a time for management to step up and realize that the mental health truly of your employees needs to come first. And it, it we can't always be the personality hire. No. We can't always right. lift up, yeah. uh, you know. And I'm, you, I'm so glad you brought this up too, because we talked about this on PTL this morning about how there was a new Gallup survey that said, you know, Half of people in the workforce right now are not happy. Yep, no. They are not happy. They feel unsupported, lack of resources, and you know. And yeah. you spend the majority of your time at work. Right. So if you're not yeah. happy at work, yeah. you're not happy in your time. Period. Life. Yeah. Right. One life oh. to live, babes. Okay.